A dramatic and unexpected event recently unfolded in the world of space exploration. During what was supposed to be a routine static engine test, the Tianlong-3 rocket, developed by Chinese private company Space Pioneer, unexpectedly launched and crashed into a mountain. This shocking incident not only captivated audiences but also highlighted the challenges and risks of advancing space technology. In this video, we'll delve into the details of this mishap, examine its immediate aftermath, and explore the broader implications for the future of private space ventures. Why did this happen, and how will this affect the trajectory of Space Pioneer and the private space industry? Stay tuned to find out. The Tianlong-3 rocket, developed by Space Pioneer, was undergoing a routine static fire test when an unexpected and dramatic series of events unfolded. Static fire tests are designed to ignite the rocket engines while the rocket remains firmly on the ground, allowing engineers to assess performance and identify any issues in a controlled environment. However, during this test, a structural failure in the launch moorings led to an unintended liftoff. According to reports from the Telegraph, the failure of these moorings resulted in the rocket blasting off prematurely. Spectacular footage published on Chinese social media captures the moment the rocket's engines ignited, sending it skyward. As the rocket ascended, its engines suddenly shut down, leading to flames erupting from the launcher. This shutdown was an automatic safety response by the onboard computer, which recognized the unplanned launch and acted to prevent further damage. The Tianlong-3 then began its uncontrolled descent, ultimately crashing into a mountainous area near the city of Gongyi in Henan province. Despite the dramatic nature of the incident, no casualties were reported, and the crash site was far from urban areas, minimizing the risk to the public. Space Pioneer attributed the mishap to a structural failure of the launch moorings, which were supposed to secure the rocket during the test. This incident is particularly significant because it involved the Tianlong-3 rocket, a larger and more capable vehicle than its predecessor, the Tianlong-2. Standing 230 feet tall and capable of carrying up to 17 tons to orbit, the Tianlong-3 represents a major step forward in Space Pioneer's ambitions to challenge established players like SpaceX. The rocket was scheduled for its maiden launch in July, and this test was a critical step in ensuring its readiness. The unexpected launch and subsequent crash of the Tianlong-3 underscore the inherent risks and complexities of rocket engineering. Even routine tests can result in unforeseen outcomes, highlighting the importance of rigorous safety measures and thorough testing protocols. This incident will undoubtedly prompt Space Pioneer to reassess and reinforce their procedures to prevent similar occurrences in the future. In the immediate aftermath of the Tianlong-3 incident, swift action was taken to ensure public safety and assess the situation. The rocket's crash into a remote hilly area near Gongji in Henan province meant that there were no casualties and the risk to populated areas was minimized. This strategic choice of a remote test site played a crucial role in avoiding a potential disaster. State media quickly reported on the incident and videos shared on social media by residents of Gongyi provided a dramatic visual account of the rocket's unintended liftoff and subsequent crash. These videos, showing the rocket's engines igniting and the vehicle rising into the sky before crashing back to Earth, captivated audiences and highlighted the sheer unpredictability of rocket testing. Space Pioneer was prompt in addressing the incident, explaining that the structural failure of the launch moorings led to the rocket's unintended launch. They emphasized that the onboard computer's automatic shutdown of the engines was a deliberate safety measure designed to prevent further escalation of the situation. This rapid response and transparency were crucial in managing public perception and maintaining confidence in their operations. The company's statement also noted that the crash site was 1.5 kilometers from the test site and far from the urban area of Gongyi, ensuring the safety of residents. This incident, while dramatic, underscored the effectiveness of safety protocols and the importance of choosing test locations that minimize risks to the public. However, the impact of this incident extends beyond immediate safety concerns. The mishap raised questions about the robustness of Space Pioneer's testing procedures and the structural integrity of their launch systems. 
Investors, stakeholders, and industry observers are likely to scrutinize how the company addresses these issues moving forward. The incident also serves as a reminder of the inherent risks in aerospace engineering, where even well-planned tests can go awry. Despite the setback, Space Pioneer remains committed to its goals. The company has recently secured over $200 million in funding, demonstrating strong investor confidence in their vision and capabilities. The Tianlong-3 incident has far-reaching implications for Space Pioneer and the broader landscape of private space exploration in China. As a company founded in 2019 with ambitions to rival SpaceX, Space Pioneer has been at the forefront of developing reusable rocket technology. This incident, however, highlights the formidable challenges inherent in such ambitious endeavors. Space Pioneer's primary objective is to create a reusable rocket booster capable of returning to Earth, similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9. The Tianlong-3 rocket, a significant advancement over its predecessor, the Tianlong-2, was expected to play a key role in achieving this goal. Standing 230 feet high and capable of carrying up to 17 tons to orbit, the Tianlong-3 represented a major step forward. The planned maiden launch in July was eagerly anticipated, but the recent mishap casts uncertainty over this timeline. The financial impact of the incident is also notable. Space Pioneer recently raised over $200 million in funding, reflecting strong investor confidence in their vision. However, the structural failure during the test may cause some investors to reassess the risks associated with the company's projects. How Space Pioneer manages the fallout from this incident will be critical in maintaining investor trust and securing future funding. The incident underscores the high-stakes nature of space exploration and the thin margin for error. Rocket engineering is an incredibly complex and precise field where even minor issues can lead to significant setbacks. The Tianlong-3 incident serves as a reminder of the importance of thorough testing and the continuous improvement of safety measures. Looking forward, Space Pioneer will need to conduct a detailed investigation into the failure of the launch moorings and implement corrective actions to prevent a recurrence. This process will likely involve redesigning components, enhancing quality control, and possibly adjusting their testing protocols. The company's response to this incident will be closely watched by the industry and will play a crucial role in shaping their reputation and future success. Moreover, the broader implications for the private space industry in China are significant. Space Pioneer's efforts are part of a larger trend of private companies emerging in China's space sector, driven by both government support and private investment. The success and setbacks of these companies will determine the future trajectory of China's ambitions in space. In this video, we have learned about the dramatic incident involving Space Pioneer's Tianlong-3 rocket. We explored the details of the incident, the immediate aftermath, and the broader implications for the future of private space exploration. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.